Welcome everybody. My name is Mike Wood. I'm going to be your mentor and presenter here today. We are going to talk today about seven profitable products from LA Express. Uh, basically what we're going to do is see if we can find seven profitable products from LA Express and show you how to do the research to determine whether a product is profitable. So one of the things that I run into in, in coaching people to start their own business is it seems people have this fallacy out there, this, this urban legend mentality or this myth in their mind that there's a box of the perfect product somewhere. And if you can just figure out what's in that box, that's how you make money online. And quite frankly, that is as I said, a myth. That just isn't the case. That's not how we make product or, or make profit. It's it's not about the product so much. Um, there are certain things that need to be researched and and uh, information we need to know as we are doing this research. But it's it's not so much about the product. Okay. However, if we do a little bit of research on some different types of products, that's where we can find out if we have a, a winner and uh, if we can find the products that will work. And we may need to move from one product to another to another as time grows and, and, and trends change and things move on. That is something to keep in mind. So it again, it's it's not this super wonder product that's not necessarily what we're looking for it's a matter of understanding our industry our marketplace um, how to to research in general that's what we're looking for okay so let's go in and, and do a little bit of research and what I'm going to do is we'll start right up here in the search box and I'm going to start with one of the first products that I ever sold when I got started on eBay back in 1999 I'm going to do a search for chess. And uh, I sold glass chess sets back then, and that was, uh, for a while, a, a winner for me. Uh, it was something that I was able to buy, uh, if if memory serves me, which it often doesn't properly, but uh, I believe I was pretty close to doubling my money. I, I think it was doubling my money before fees. So I wasn't quite doubling my money, not quite 100% profit, but pretty close to it. So I think I was buying them for about 5 bucks and then selling them for, for 10 or 15 something like that. And for quite a while, that worked out really well. And I just bought a handful of them. I bought five or six at a time and would put those in a closet. And when, when I sold uh, two or three of them, I would take that money, reinvest it, and buy more. And that's how I worked my business for a while there, and and that was the one of the primary products. And it was a, a nice little side gig and brought in some some money. So, if we wanted to do something like this today, how would we go about that? What are the options? Now, the the world has changed a lot since then. In the last 21 years, things have have really changed, and there is quite a possibility for making a profit on eBay with many of these products on a dropship model. Uh, that uh, that may be a possibility for some of these. So let's look at this, just give you a little bit, of, a few tips. So first thing I'm going to say is when we do a search on AliExpress, um, we're going to put in one or two keywords to search and then we have the sort by section and they default to best match. Well, if we go to price, then we're going to see the lowest priced items up at the top, and that will give us our, our lower priced products to work with and to think about. Now, I'm always about finding the, the creative uh, outlet, right? The, the creative opportunities and, and thoughts there, and so that's something that I, I want to bring out here and address. So one thing that I want you to, to think about and recognize is as we pulled this up, we can see we've got these little board game pieces here. And they're not necessarily chess pieces, although they do look resemble somewhat a, you know, a pawn. 
and that's I think that's what they're meant to be. Is they're called you know board game pawns. But <clears throat> I see these here for 17, 18 cents a lot, 21 cents over here. And realistically, these are all the same thing. What's the difference between this lot? for 17 cents and this lot for 21 cents and this lot for 26 and as we scroll down 29 38 39 right what's the difference between this one down here where we can pay 44 cents as opposed to the one down here for less than half that and realistically there there really isn't much of a difference and you'll find that many of these have the exact same photo too as you can see that right very interesting all right so let's go in click on that link incidentally if you didn't notice that when you click a, a link in AliExpress it opens a new tab and so we've got uh, the original tab here with um, the original search and the listing opening up over here so that's kind of helpful to be able to uh, to uh, see that we've got that open on a different uh, a different page there all right so while that's loading I'm going to scroll down and look at some other options here so we've got uh, let's see this looks like um, maybe checkers or uh, um, backgammon pieces something like that chess pieces checkers um, I don't know why they're calling that chess uh, it's, it's definitely not <clears throat> but there are several options of different things that that are available here with this little search here's some little chess man and stuff like that all right so we've got this piece up here so I'm not going to limit myself what I'm telling you is I'm not going to limit myself only to what I was searching for I'm going to look at everything that comes up and see if there is something that I can do with it here we've got uh, looks like a little fishing uh, device well that's something I might research and see what they're selling for on eBay okay so let's start the searching on eBay and let's let's just do a search for game pieces so we're going to do a search here I'm going to make it simple first and um, I'm going to just do game pieces and see if these uh, player uh, pieces come up or if I need to change the the keyword there a little bit uh, so we see 55,000 results um, there we have some specific uh, replacement um, pieces there so that's interesting that's kind of what I was expecting to see there's some more for sorry game pieces um, that are coming up all right so 55,476 results but here's one of the the little tips that I want to give you here as you're doing this research to find out what's selling how many are selling one of the first things you should do is come down here and check this US only under the item location on the left hand side okay so US only because we're not competing with Chinese sellers as much as you might think so we're going to take that down from 54,000 to 49,000 so we still have quite a few out there that's important because I want you to recognize that people uh, uh, if, if you're in the US marketplace then people who are from the US will often prefer to buy from a US seller even if they're paying more partially simply because they know they'll get it faster and that's that's all their their reasoning uh, others uh, prefer to to support local business uh, USA sellers for example and so that might be their uh, their motivation all right now again as we look at this so we started with the idea of chess right now we moved on to a totally different uh, thing that came up uh, as one of the lowest priced items on the uh, listings there as we searched on um, AliExpress and then we even saw another one yet again that I haven't researched so there's another product so we've got three potential products to research here and then as we look at uh, um, eBay well, look at this we have these uh, other little parts we've got these operation game parts that might be things we can look at these uh, parts here um, the specific sorry board game uh, shapes and parts monopoly uh, um, parts here so we've got rummy cub or rummy cube however you say that um, 
that's different for every family. <laughs> but there's, there's all of these, you know, there's money, there's the checkers parts, right? So we have all of these potential pieces that we can work with. All right, so we've got 49,400 active listings. We're going to look at sold items. And we may need to refine this a little bit, right? Uh, so out of 49,000, we have 9,470 pieces in there. So what's our sell-through rate? So if we uh, estimate that, we're looking at, what, 20%? as a sell through rate and we can we could always uh, open the calculator and verify that uh, but there's 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 a lot that are selling so it's actually a, a fairly decent sell through rate it's not too bad all right so that's just for the general game pieces and that's uh, I'll, for a lot of that that's replacement game pieces right okay so Again, I'm going to take you deeper down the rabbit hole. Remember, we're not limiting ourselves to just what we were looking for. We're looking at all possible ideas. All right. I and I'll give you an example here. I got a lot from Liquidation.com that included a some kind of cat board game. I can't even remember. I, th I think it was, oh, it was Catopoly. Catopoly. So it was Monopoly with cats, right? And it had the board. It had some cards and I think bundles of money, and that was it. It didn't have all of the other pieces. So it was a partial box. And so I listed it as pieces, and I, I put up the individual pieces and sold it that way. And uh, I can't recall which pieces I sold. I think I sold the board maybe and, and maybe some of the, the cards or money or something uh, before I decided to junk it and throw the rest of it away because it sat up there for a while. But parts of them sold. Well, look at this right here. We've got vintage 1963 Clue board game replacement pieces, cards, weapons, tokens, rules. Okay, so what if you're going to the thrift store and you see an old, worn-out board game on the shelf there? We don't have to have all the pieces to make money with this. Somebody made 14, 15 bucks there. Now the free shipping, so granted it might have cost, let's say four or five bucks to ship all that, right? But they cleared close to $10 just from some vintage playing pieces, right? So they may not even have the whole thing, but they sold what they did have. So keep your eyes open, recognize that everything has potential if you look at it in the right way. Okay, um, we've got some Yahtzee uh, um, replacement stuff here from 82. Here's uh, another one with the Clue. Wow, so Clue, gosh, 20 bucks, 15 bucks. That makes me think maybe I should be looking for Clue games because that, you know, especially old ones, right, vintage. And so that may be something that will be, be beneficial. Now, this this is amazing. I love this. Here we are, Simpsons operating game replacement piece. Now. Granted, you're not making a whole lot here. They're probably putting it in an envelope and, and shipping it for 50 cents, uh, cost of a stamp, right? Because it'll it'll fit in an envelope. It's not going to weigh anything. Um, but that's brilliant. And I look at that, and I have a 3D printer at home, and I think, well, shoot, I could 3D print those <laughs> and uh, sell them, uh, you know, if I knew the dimensions, which you could probably um, find the files online to print them. So that's kind of fun. Songburst. So what I'm showing you here is we actually have dozens of potential products and options here that we could work with. Axis and Allies, board game, 1987, art artillery, 11 pieces, replacement parts, clean. There's another one that I could easily print with the 3D printer and have those parts right there. Okay. Now, you guys, most of you don't have a, a 3D printer, so that's not something you're going to think of, but I'm just telling you where my creative mind is going. And when I see something like that where, gosh, you know, there's $12.55, $12. I could print up a bunch of those and just have them. It's not going to cost much to ship them. It's not going to take much of my time. Sure, I might do that for 12 13 bucks. okay? So something to think about, something to keep your eyes out for as you are uh, looking at these. There's a battleship, little pieces, right? That's something that would be easy for me to print up right there to print a bunch of those. They're charging shipping on that as well. Those would print really fast, too. They're tiny. 
So that might be one worth looking at. Um, here's an interesting one. Lot of 13 marble pawn chess pieces. Stone, hand-carved, chess, knights, Aztec, etc. Or assortment, assorted, whatever. So yeah, there's there's some other possibilities there, right? Here's some vintage Monopoly game stuff. So all of these possible things, shoot, every one of the board games in those thrift stores, Goodwills and Salvation Armies and whatnot, have potential because people will pay for the replacement parts. They don't need the whole game. Uh, a lot of times they're looking for the parts and pieces. All right, let's jump back up here. And what if we change this to pawns, game pawns, right? So specifically the pawns that uh, people might be looking for. We've got 1,400 uh, results and ended there. Um, here we've got the um, sorry uh, game pawns. Um, there's another uh, lot of 16 sorry pawns. Uh, there's uh, a lot there. All right, so granted, again, this is not a high-priced item, but if we can get it for 17 cents, all right, and uh, a lot of times you have free shipping on these products. Oh, I didn't need to click it. I already had it open. I forgot about that. Uh, a lot of times they will do a, a free shipping. Uh, these guys are charging a, a shipping cost. Now, we can, if we go back to uh, this AliExpress main page, we can click on free shipping here. And so then it resorts so that we are only showing items that do have the um, free shipping. So we've got now the lowest price at the top and free shipping for it. So here's 10 pieces, $1.59 free shipping. Okay. So that gives us a little bit uh, of how we look at this. Now, again, these are kind of uh, low-end items. What about um, more pricey items, things that uh, that might uh, sell at uh, uh, better prices, right? And it might be other chess pieces. It might be this little fishing doodad. This is going to take some time. This is definitely something where you will spend some time doing the research. Look at everything, everything that comes up that catches your eye. Don't get anxious about this. It may take weeks to find those products that work well for you. But once you find them, you will sell them over and over and over again. Okay. All right. So what is this? Uh, automatic hook trigger. Um, so let's just research that and see what it is selling for. Over on, and we've got shipping on this again. But what is uh, something like that selling for on eBay? And what I'm looking for is something where the Sell price on eBay is common to be, oh, let's say three to five times or better the uh, um, uh, my cost. And that way I am generally going to be guaranteed a decent profit. So at least three to five times. So I'm going to change that automatic uh, um, hook. That didn't uh, do it. Okay, uh, um, let's try. Well, we've got some down there. What are the keywords they're using? Automatic uh, tip up uh, hook setter. Um, spring loaded fish trap lure hook. Um, automatic hook spring. I'm looking for keywords to use for this. And I, I think spring would be a good one there. So automatic hook spring. Whoops, I damaged my finger. I'm not typing properly. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> there we go. Thank you, Eric, for the compliment there. I'll try and pay attention to the questions box here. Um, Eric asks here, uh, um, can you sell name brands? I would not buy name brand items from China. Do not buy uh, anything name brand from China and sell it on eBay because it's going to be a knockoff and you'll get in trouble or have the potential of getting in trouble. So we don't want to do that. All right, that's not uh, um, 
automatic hook, uh, oh, spring, not string. Come on. There we go. All right. Um, spring. Um, spring loaded fish trap lure hook. That's interesting. A vintage one there. It looks like the same thing, but it's open there. Very, very interesting, right? So again, put these images in the. Uh, um, you know, hold them, store them in your brain so that next time you're at a uh, a thrift store or a flea market or, or an estate sale and you see something like that sitting there, you know what it is, right? And uh, you realize, oh, I know what that is, and that's worth money, right? Okay, so um, there we go. Automatic fishing spring hook. Um, all right, so fishing spring maybe. Um, that's the product right there. That is, that looks like that is that item right there. And they're selling it for $377. That's from China. Oh, did I not reset that? Look at that. Let's come over here. It should be only showing U.S. only. I don't know why that's. Oh, 48 items found from eBay International sellers. Interesting. So they're selling it to, um, direct from China there. If you put it up as a U.S. seller, you may have some um, some good potential to get it sold there. Okay. Um, so automatic um, fishing, what is it? Fishing spring. Automatic fishing spring. Let's try that. Now remember, we've got all these other products that are coming up here that we might be able to work with. Fishing rod, double holder, automatic tip-up, um, hook setter. So that's something we can look for. Um, fishing rod holder, automatic double spring, angle fish pole tackle, bracket rest. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is follow this uh, little rabbit hole down a little further. We're going to come over here and do fish um, tip up. Let's try fish and tip up and see if those keywords bring us. All right. Um, there's uh, one of those products. There's one right there, 655. All right, so there we go. Now let's uh, sort by price. Let's uh, check that free shipping so that we get that in there. And we're seeing other products there, the little uh, magic uh, things and, and stuff. All right, so fishing accessory with a flag, um, automatic tip-up. Uh, so we've got quite a few different variations of that. And so then we look at that and say, okay, what are they selling for on eBay? Can I make a profit with it? So if they're going to cost me 12 bucks over here and... On eBay, they're selling for 17, not quite. Um, 19, a little better. 21 to to 26 dollars. All right. Smart fish catcher, adjustable automatic fish spring rod holder, 44.99. Really? So that one, I'm going to go in and click on that, and I'm going to research it a little bit to see if I have more. Um, more information about whether it really sold for that. I'll tell you a little something that uh, you want to look for there. Um, and that looks a little more like this one, a little uh, higher end perhaps. But hey, if we need to pay 17 to get a $45 sale, it's worth doing. So one thing that happens sometimes with people on uh, eBay is they might run out of stock on an item and decide to just raise the price and 
they haven't really sold it for that high price that you're seeing. They just don't want the listing to end, and so they raise the price to something ridiculous. So a lot of times that's what you're seeing there. Okay. So um, this one, so if we come into the listing and we click on the five sold right there where it says how many have sold, if you click on that link, then it will take you to show you those that actually sold and what they actually sold for. And that's where you can see whether the price is realistic. So this uh, is in fact true. This one was a special offer, so they're not showing the price. But yes, they did sell for $44.99 as recent as uh, this past week. Okay. So um, they, uh, and then if, if you buy more than one, then they're discounted. All right. So let's see if we have uh, any questions there. Uh, no. All right. So Halloween stuff was mentioned, but again, we're, we're so close to Halloween at this point. Uh, I would say you're safer buying Christmas stuff from China than Halloween because it's going to take time for it to, Oh, let's go forward on that, to arrive. So there we've got some potential. Yeah, we might be able to make something like that work. I would say search out these uh, items here for ice fishing. That, again, is something that's coming up, so that might be worth looking at and see if those sell. Heck, it might even be worth looking at some of these uh, pumps and see if that's something that uh, that would be worth buying uh, and if it's something that's selling well. All right, so that uh, that was another little tangent. Let's back up here a little bit. And actually, let's go over to eBay and let's look at some of the other products on uh, eBay there. Here we've got some of those uh, items that are similar. Um, rod holders, so the rod holder might be a good one. Um, four pieces, LED electronic light, fishing bite sound alarm. Well, that's interesting. And there's a, so we're, I guess we're going to look at some fishing things here for a bit, right? So we've got a, a fishing uh, um, LED alarm, um, a light and a noise. Uh, it sounds like 24 of them sold. All right. Well, let's go look at that. And let's do a search for LED fishing alarm and see I'm curious about those little uh, uh, magic items toys and stuff there there we go look at that 479 right there um, let's uh, let's check the let's do the price lowest first Let's look at the free shipping options. Didn't sort that. Let's sort it price. And there's something totally different that uh, um, that we have there. Okay, so there we are. There's some little um, light uh, things there for the dark. So let's check this one right here and see what they're talking about with the price differences here. Okay, so they've got they're grabbing your attention with hey we've got this cheap one right here at forty cents, <laughs> and then we've got. Uh, this one over here that uh, is actually um, probably the higher price. Um, let's see, there's still not um, ships from China, United States. Let's try China, 1345, United States, $1.19, really? Interesting. $23 for, and free shipping on orders over $88. Okay. So that uh, that is very interesting. Um, okay. Ships from United States. Huh? That is curious. Free shipping from China, $13.45 a piece. Um, $23 shipping, but if we do, let's say we're going to do 
10 of those. Yeah, they're ramping up the the shipping. So we have to, if we wanted, what do we need there? 80 of them. They don't let us go up uh, higher than 50 of them. Okay. So you can you can actually contact these buyers. Uh, they'll usually have a or these sellers rather. You know, they'll have a contact form somewhere. Um, usually right there it is right there at the top where we can send them a, a message. All right. So uh, we've got uh, that one was a little misleading. Um, let's try this one here and see if they're doing the same thing. Because some of these types of things, you will be able to find them at a very low price. All right, ships from United States. Um, so this is a little more realistic. Let's find the right item there. $3.13. So if we were to buy 10 of those, uh, um, we're looking at uh, $31, $41 for 10 of these. And that's an item that is selling on eBay for 15 bucks. Okay. So there's one that, that may work out uh, fairly well that we could be doing. Uh, here, these guys are selling those little ones there. Um, that's interesting to see that. LED night fishing bite bait alarm. Um, 20 pack for $13. Uh, so we'd have to look at that to decide if that is uh, worth it. It looks like it is. Now, as we continue down the this little rabbit hole of uh, uh, fishing uh, devices, we've got the, the rod socks. These little uh, sleeves that you put over fishing poles to protect them and and uh, um, keep your fishing poles. So that's something we could look at. We've got this other style of alarm. We've got these uh, um, slim work lamps uh, here. Um, fish hook removers uh, that uh, we could work with. So there are, are several products as we travel down this uh, thing. All kinds of possibilities, right? Yeah. We've got all kinds of, of options and, and possible products that we could work with here. And honestly, if you spend two or three hours doing this research, spend an hour if you have it. I mean, we've only been here doing this for half an hour, and we've already found at least two or three that easily could be profitable, that, that could be beneficial for us. And so this one right here, I would feel pretty, oh, now look at that. That's four pieces. Okay, now that's important. Four pieces right there that they're looking at. So that's, I'm glad I saw that there. So then we look at that and we say, okay, well, where's the, you know, where does that fall in then? So now we've got to maybe negotiate a lower price if we're going to do something like that because it's not, um, it's not as high a, a valued item as I initially had thought there. Let's back up here. So look at that carefully before you do, before you pull the trigger on anything. Let's back. Oh, gosh, we didn't even have that. I, um, I'm backing out of the rabbit hole looking at. Uh, okay. So we've got to go to. Um, um, basically, we want to change this. Uh, if we wanted to look at the fishing alarms and see if there are other options or potential for profit there. Fishing alarm. So we'll do a search that way. It will take some time. It, it is generally going to take a bit of time to, to find the products that will be profitable and that will be worth selling. And a lot of times they are going to be lower dollar um, priced items. Um, all right, let's go. See, there we go, 280 sold items, so 20 packs, so larger packs might be worth doing so that you you have a better potential for profit margin. I think I saw one kind of like that over there. 
Um, there we've got a single for seven dollars. There's an interesting idea. Copper uh, pole bells. Very interesting. And those are selling uh, quite often too. Here's uh, looks like two alarms selling for sixteen fifty five. I'll go check that one. So they don't have uh, a multiples on their listing. So we don't know. I don't know whether it was one or two, or we'd have to go into the listing to find out more details on that. Okay. So anyway, that's how you, you would go about this and, and do that search. And um, one of those items could end up being your your big ticket, especially if you can negotiate a, a low price for a larger number of them than it may be worth doing. Okay. A lot of a lot of those similar products there. Let's see. All right, uh, so if we come back over here, let's go back to um, trying to get back to the original, not even seeing the original uh, item. I don't even remember what the original one I initially looked at was. <laughs> so um, some of the same sellers will also have things over here on the side that they offer and so that's something that you can look at. This one right might right here might be a good option, the K tape. Athletic K tape might be something that uh, uh that you sell. Maybe these little uh, rubber finger um covers for the guitar, right? Everything is an option. Look at all of them until you find something that that works well for you. Okay? look at everything, do the research, and you might go through 100 items to find four or five that have good profit potential. When you're doing this, one of the things I like to do is use a spreadsheet. So I'll, I'll go create a Google Sheet, and I'll when I find a winner, I'll save it on that Google Sheet. And what I'll do is I'll create a column for the name of the item, a column for my cost, a column for the sale price that I, that I would sell it for on eBay, a column for the fees uh, of uh, you know what it's going to cost me to to ship it and and my seller fees, and then a column for my profit, and then a column with the link to uh, to where I can buy the item. And so I'll save that in a spreadsheet that way. And then what I do is I'll go in and and figure out how to do a formula in another column where I can. Um, formulate the percentage of profit between my sale price and my cost of the item. And I'll have a, a column there where I'm looking at the um, profit potential. So that way I can look at all of them, see the highest profit potentials, then look at the dollar amounts and see the highest dollar uh, um, profits, and then make my decision of which ones I, I really want to focus on and, and maybe purchase. Okay. So any questions? That's uh, that's what I've got for you here. I do see another question here. Um, so if you have any questions, type them in for me right now. What do you do when eBay keeps recommending that you lower the price? Ignore them. <laughs> uh, you're going to see that all the time. It's eBay's automated system. Uh, ignore it. Uh, generally speaking, it, it isn't um, it isn't something that is going to make a big difference. I've uh, I've actually toyed with that before, where I see them say, "Hey, lower the price." I've lowered the price. It didn't increase the sales. I raised the price up, and then got sales. And uh, my son's done the same thing and seen that happen. So. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, not always about price, so I wouldn't uh, be too concerned about that. Interesting. So okay. All right. 
Uh, other questions? Can we go to this website? Yes, the website is aliexpress, A-L-I-Express dot com. So anybody can go to that website, create an account, and you can buy from them, and they have just millions and millions of different things available out there. So browse around, do some searching. Uh, don't limit yourself. Like I said, really just get out there and, and search around. Don't limit yourself uh, on this. Uh, um, look at all of these links off on the side here and see if there's something there that might be um, worth working with and just do the research. It is going to take some time. It's going to be tedious in the beginning, but it'll be worth it long term because this is one of those areas where you can find a consistent source of a product and you can sell them over and over and over again. And if you can create a listing one time and then sell that thing over and over and over, then it really becomes uh, worth it. And you get 100 of those, and even if you're only selling them now and then, you, you're doing pretty good, okay? And so you can, do, uh, you can do very well with stuff like that. So, all right, I thank everybody for joining tonight. Uh, that is the end of our webinar.